assalamu alaikum students in the previous video we have started the chapter our environment we have discussed some points as well in that we have seen our environment consist of two types of components biotic components and abiotic components biotic components are nothing but living organisms and abiotic are non living organisms we have seen the examples also there then we have come across a very important definition ecosystem it is nothing but the interaction the way the living and the non living organisms which live in a particular area make use of each other come into contact with one another that interaction the place where that occurs we are calling it as ecosystem our ecosystem has on our earth we have got different kinds of ecosystems we have divided them into two main categories natural ecosystems and artificial ecosystems natural ecosystems are the ones which are formed by natural phenomena like forest river and ponds whereas artificial ones are made by man they though they appear very much like uh, the natural ones but still they are prepared they are uh, made in a controlled manner by human activities we have examples of agricultural fields gardens aquariums in today's class we will be discussing very very important aspect of ecosystem that is levels of ecosystem here in levels of ecosystem as you can see i have written three words producers consumers and decomposers and see how i have put the arrow mark here downward arrow mark is there always the levels of the ecosystem must be uh, written in this form only first comes producers second comes consumers and finally we have decomposers the arrow mark must be always downward that means from producers to consumer and finally to decomposers why is it so why it has to be like this only there is a reason behind this here first we'll see one by one what are producers what do they do what why do they have to be on the top only right so here producers are nothing but the organisms the living organisms which are photosynthetic that means they can perform photosynthesis uh, photosynthesis they have chlorophyll in them which helps them to perform photosynthesis and are capable of preparing their own food nothing but starch or glucose so you can say producers are nothing but autotrophic organisms yes autotrophic organisms that are photosynthetic in nature and include green plants and some green algae in it you have already studied algae bacteria fungi all these things primitive type of organisms in your ninth standard right so here some photosynthetic green plants and bacteria are included in the category of producers <coughs> what do they do their responsibility in the environment is to utilize sunlight and prepare food prepare starch by performing different chemical activities in their body by utilizing water sunlight chlorophyll different uh, methods will be followed by doing so these green plants will prepare the food it is their prime duty once they prepare the food their job is done they have done their work fruit vegetables all those things that will be grown there now when they have prepared all these things the fruits and vegetables that will be there on their uh, on the plant body that has to be used by someone and that there comes and there comes the consumers the users the one who will use the things produced by the producers there comes the consumers which include humans and animals see as i have told just now producers are nothing but the autotrophs right who prepare their own food so in that manner consumers the second level of the ecosystem is made up of heterotrophs which include humans 
and animals or you can say consumers the second level consumer is made up of heterotrophs which are it which may be herbivores carnivores or omnivores keep these things in mind the these terms are very important and you need to know the difference between them producers are autotrophs photosynthetic plants consumers are heterotrophs nothing but carnivores omnivores herbivores these three are included in under this level then the question comes if the whatever the fruits and vegetables are produced by these organisms are utilized by consumers okay fine as food they are using it then once their life span is over once their uh, lifetime is over they will die right we humans animals right they will die once they die their bodies will start decomposing right they decompose they break down the bodies the dead bodies of the organisms break down once they start breaking down who is responsible for that process and there comes the decomposers from the name itself you can understand they are responsible for breaking down the complex substances complex body organizations so here one by one in each level you can see that the organism some are responsible for production some are responsible for utilization and some are responsible for converting those complex structures again into the simpler forms so that they can be again utilized by the producers so in this manner our ecosystem has been divided or it has been arranged into three different levels producers consumers and decomposers so producers involve autotrophic organisms nothing but photosynthetic green plants and bacteria they are responsible completely responsible for the preparation of food by photosynthesis process whatever is being prepared by them is utilized or consumed by the second level of the ecosystem called consumers these consumers which include humans animals nothing but herbivores carnivores and omnivores all these organisms will make use of the food prepared by the producers and finally when they die when uh, their life span has been completed their bodies will be utilized their bodies will be uh, consumed by the decomposers which are nothing but the microorganisms that include bacteria and some fungi their responsibility is to convert those complex structures into minute or simpler form so that again in the form of manure it can be mixed into the soil and that soil will be helpful for the growth of the plants again so in this manner here we have seen these three levels again in detail what are those what are their different functions who are involved in these processes we'll see